Hey friends, welcome back to Blooming with Miss B. Today we're going to be going over rounding numbers to estimate the sum. So pretty much all that means is we're going to have a normal addition problem, but instead of just adding those numbers, we're actually going to round the numbers. That way we can add it easier in our heads. So in order to do this, we just follow three simple steps. We're gonna round each number. Second, we're gonna add each number. And three, we're gonna find the sum. So I'm gonna show you some examples on the board. Let's get started. Step one, we're going to round each number. So just like we would normally round, I'm going to find my place. Round to the nearest 10. So I'm going to look at that seven. So one way that we can round, which I taught in the last rounding video, is that I can say this quick little rhyme. Five or greater, add one more. Four below, let it go. So is that seven greater than five or less than five? That is greater than five, so I'm going to add one to my 10. So now what is eight plus one? Eight plus one equals nine. So I'm gonna round 87 to 90. Next number, find my place in that tens, which is the three. I'm gonna look next door at my ones, and I'm gonna follow that little rhyme. Five or greater, add one more. Four below, let it go. So four is less than five, so I'm gonna leave this three alone and bring it over here to 30. So now that I've rounded both numbers, I'm ready to add. Zero plus zero equals zero. Nine plus three, I'm gonna put nine in my head, three on my fingers. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So my answer is 120. So let's go back over our steps. First, we rounded each number. The 87 goes to 90 and 34 rounded to 30. We added them up and found the estimated sum is 120. Now when we estimate, it is not the exact number that this would add up to, but it's okay because we're looking for the estimate. We're looking for about how many. So let's actually add this up and see if we were close. We would add ones first, so seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Carry that one. We have eight, nine, 10, 11. 12. Ooh, so our real answer would be 121, which is about 120. So our rounding and adding was correct because this number is pretty dang close to this one. All right, let's do a bigger problem. Well, first thing I need to do is round each number. So to round, I'm going to follow my usual steps. My place is the three. I'm looking next door at that zero. And I'm asking myself, five or greater, add one more. Four below, let it go. That zero is way less than four. So we're gonna keep this three and round 302 to three, make that 100, 300. Let's move on to our next number. We have 456. My place is in the hundreds. I look next door at that five. And I ask myself, should we add one more or let it go? We're gonna add one more. That five is too big. We're gonna add one more to our 10. So four plus one equals five. We're gonna make it 100. So we rounded 456 to 500. Now that we've rounded each number, we need to add them up. Zero plus zero equals zero. Zero plus zero equals zero. Three plus five equals Eight, so our estimated number is 800. So let's add this one up and double check our work. Start with our ones, we have two plus six, that equals eight. Zero plus five equals five. Three plus four equals seven. This added one goes for there, not for this normal adding. 758 is about 800. We would round up because that five five or greater, add one more. This is why we ran it to 800. Okay, we're gonna do two more problems with a little different way to round. So whichever one you like best. Step one, I need to round each number. So I'm gonna take 52, find my place, ones and tens. This first one is the five. I'm gonna look next door at this two. And with that two, I'm gonna ask myself, is it closer to zero or 10? So is that two 
closer to zero or closer to 10. That two is way closer to zero. So we're gonna add zero. Five plus zero. So we're gonna come over here and round 52 to 50. Next number, we have 39. Three is my place. I'm looking at that nine and I'm gonna ask myself, is that nine closer to zero or 10? Well, here's nine. Only one more to get to 10. It is way closer to 10. So we're going to add one. Three plus one equals four. So now that I've rounded my numbers, I'm ready to add. Zero plus zero equals zero. Five plus four equals nine. Our estimated number is 90. As always, let's double check our answer. Two plus nine, I'm gonna put the biggest number in my head. Two on my fingers, nine, 10, 11, 11. And here's that one that we carry. Five plus three equals eight plus one equals nine. So we had 91 and we rounded it down to 90. So this is accurate. All right, let's do the same way with the bigger number. Okay, so if I have 790 plus 112, first thing we need to do, round each number. So just like we always would to round, I'm gonna find my place. I'm running to the nearest 100, looking next door at that nine. And I'm gonna ask myself this time, is that nine closer to zero? or 10. Show me nine. That 10's right there. So because it's closer to 10, I'm going to add a one here. Seven plus one equals eight. So I'm gonna do eight and make it a hundred because we are rounding to the nearest hundred. Next number, hundreds place. Look next door at that one. Ask myself, is that one closer to zero or 10? Is that one closer to zero or 10? way closer to zero. Because it's closer to zero, I'm gonna add zero. And one plus zero equals one. So I'm gonna keep that one here, make it 100 because we're rounding to the nearest 100. And now that we've rounded our numbers, we're ready to add. Zero plus zero equals zero. Zero plus zero equals zero. Eight plus one equals nine. So our estimated sum is 900. Let's double check our work though. Zero plus two equals two. Nine plus one equals 10. I'm gonna carry that one that's up here. Seven plus one equals eight, plus one equals nine. 902, except we rounded to 900. We are all good. So just to go over our work, first we rounded each number, added the rounded numbers, and found the estimated sum. And we double checked that by adding up our original addition problem. And if we took 900 and rounded it to the nearest 100, we would have gotten 900. That's how we know that we are correct. All right, guys, so thank you for rounding to estimate the sum with addition problems. If you like this video or found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends.